Girl begs her ex-boyfriend to take her back. After she was caught cheating on him. Anybody, oh, anything. Shit. If you know you can't feel it, just don't. There is so much. I'm gonna record this. For future references for a video. <laughs> that's gonna be, that's gonna make a bit sad video later on.
relationship with someone who you want to be with forever, then please listen to this so you don't make the same mistakes I did and lose that person. No relationship is perfect. Every relationship has its problems, its its fights, its issues, and sometimes those are problems that are reoccurring that have just never been resolved, but like listen to this. If you guys are fighting and you can't figure out like why you can't get on the same page, then this is what you do. Take your feelings and the way you feel you've been hurt and take that in and shove it aside. This is not about you right now. Chances are somehow you've hurt your partner too and, and they they want you to hear them and you want them to hear you. So you have to put your feelings aside and you have to actually put yourself into their head. Now, once you're in their head, think of the way that y- you acted in a situation, something you said, an action you did then, and then think about based on your action, how would they have felt? I want you to really feel it. Like this is not just like, um, you know, put yourself in their shoes. Like I need you to feel it, feel that emotion, feel their pain. And if you both do that, then you can finally get in a place where you understand each other's pain and you can just, you can make up, you can, you can forgive and you can let go. Because if you cannot do this, those, those reoccurring issues will keep coming and they will never get resolved and the anxiety and stress will build and build and build until there's nothing left to give for either of you. Don't let these stupid fights make you lose the thing that you love the most in the world. It's not worth it, I promise. Put your feelings aside, empathize with your partner, and just love them. Literally just love them. Like, Please stop fucking fighting and just love each other. Hi. Hi, Jason. It's it's me. Um I haven't seen you well. The last time that I saw you, you were uh, making out with that girl in the car um, when we were still together. But anyways, I just wanted you to know, like, um, I miss you, Jason. Um, You're the love of my life. You have been for, like, a decade. (laughs) And I know you cheated on me a lot, okay? And I told you that I didn't like it. And I don't. But I'm willing to put up with anything, Jason, if you just take me back because you left me in such a hurry for what that girl in the car that you were making out with that one time a year ago. Oh, God, the memory of it all. But I can get over all that, Jason. And I cook, and I clean, and just remember all the things I do for you, okay? And the thing is, is I don't know why you left, okay? Oh, anyway, I miss you, Jason. So call me. I'll be waiting by the phone for you for nights and weeks and months. Maybe you hear more. I can do that. Maybe. I love you. All right. Talk to you later. Please call me.